All right, dudes and dudettes, today we are going to be putting our HDPE sheet production in a 3x3x6 area. I hope you all enjoy. It's also at the new base. <laughs> yeah. All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia 3, guys. I have ascended into Super Turtle 2, as you can see from the lightning around me. I'm just kidding. If you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, you'll get the reference. But anyways, uh, I, I did go to record earlier. And you know that typical YouTuber mistake where they forget to hit record? I will assure you, I did not forget to hit record. I forgot to launch the program to record. So I hit the record button and it was like, what are you doing? And I was just like talking to myself for about 15 minutes. But yes, I want to thank Electron, Electron Sponge for commenting on the last episode who told me that the issue is actually with the storage drawers. And that the material stonework factories. And I also discovered from one of the comments, I will put it up on screen, that we don't actually need to continue to put lava or fluid in or water in here. That they just continue to, to to make. So I went ahead and ran a external storage over here to our elite bins. Um, yeah, so we now have uh, cobble, glass, and sand automation already complete. So thank you guys in the comments. You guys are amazing. And I did throw the uh, the speed upgrades here. And another comment. I got a lot of comments on last episode, so thank you all for that. Posted on screen. But you have to have an efficiency upgrade to have the tier 2 upgrade. So I just went ahead and added that. And it's good to go. But guys, uh, what I was recording after that was the upgrades to the armor. Uh, so we went ahead and added a whole bunch of upgrades to our mecha suit here. Uh, we've got the magnets, and we have one energy unit installed. We have radiation shielding. We did that last episode, but for this one, we did we did locomotive boosting unit. Now, if if we boost it up to five and walk around, you can see it's normal. But if I fly and hit hit this, you can see that we are freaking moving. And so this is what it looks like on the ground. It's a little hard to control. Yeah, so I like to only use this when I'm like flying around, but it's also made it very like easy for us to get from place to place. And I also went ahead and discovered our new base location over there. So let's go ahead and teleport. I forgot to chunk load that. Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys, so we're here at the uh, the new area. And I did decide to choose this area because, for one, we got a, a mesa biome right over there. We've also got a... Uh, a desert. Uh, we've got quite a few like the we got it's, just, it's a good spot uh, And it's also like a very wide open area because our new base is going to be very very large and uh, That's pretty much the the goal of this episode. We're gonna be building our starting up our new base um, So it's actually pretty cool and I also want to show you guys this other thing here. That's I think is really cool so there's this uh, electrolytic um, Breathing unit here and what this does is you can see over here in the bottom right my jet my jetpack is at 80 percent now if we go over to a body of water here and say we just you know fall in for one we can breathe underwater which is very cool but two as you can see the jetpack is actually going back up in pow power and now we're at 100 percent again so our jetpack has just refilled itself so we no longer have to worry about stupid things and i also did have uh, put on some s damage upgrades here that don't seem to be doing squat what's wrong your problem oh i don't have it set okay guys so we did a little work over at the new base here go ahead and show you what i got going on all right so this is going to be the episode we're probably going to move the teleporter to here uh, so let's go ahead and just do that now. All right. Quantum boy. Yep. Let's go. Turbo power. Bam. All right. So that is where we're going to be teleporting into our base. I don't know if I'm going to keep these little strips here. I might just cut them off, switch them over to that. That might look a little better. Um, and then I also think this needs a little bit of flair in here, but this is what we're going to go with. And you're wondering probably what these are. And these are going to be little areas that we're going to enclose in glass here. And we're going to be throwing our mechanism things in here. So like this area will do the fission fuel. This area will do like the, the bio fuel and PDE sheet, stuff like that. So I'm, I've, our first thing is I want to do. Let's get our PDE sheets automated here. And so we're probably going to end up 
breaking the bottoms of these out and then like we're gonna have the a full thing so like uh so let's see here we'll have like an import up at the top and then export at the bottom and we'll import in like the food that we need we'll smelt it to get the potatoes stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and get this process moving uh and then i do have some stairs going here now we're gonna bring this down another block and it's gonna kind of go one of these so you have to kind of step up here into this uh, and then we're gonna have these arches that kind of go up above and then kind of meet in the middle with a dome here We're gonna we're gonna make a dome kind of above these into the room. So it should look pretty cool But uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a very circular base. I normally don't do these um, So yeah, this should look uh, look pretty interesting, but let's go ahead and get started All right, so this is the process here um, This is kind of no, we're not we're getting fed Oxygen from this ethylene's coming from here Okay, so we need to kind of move this entire system. Here's the biofuel that we need. So this is number one uh, so biofuel now we're also going to be setting up some Of our dudes up there uh, the the garden cloches, so we're gonna be doing the potatoes um, I'm Better did I really do that? I believe I really did that yet Go ahead Get some more going. I do have a magnet upgrade as well on this. Okay, so we have the garden cloches. We have some potatoes. Let's go make our way over to the new base. Oh shoot, I didn't link it. All right, yeah, so the issue was I didn't, I didn't set this to be the the new base area here. So I went ahead and did that. So now we should be able to teleport to it. No issue. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Yep, we are good to go. All righty. So we have our garden cloches. Um, now I don't know if we want to set these up in a different area. I think we might actually want to. I think the floor, um, because this will be domed here. And I actually think uh, that the dome won't actually be a glass dome, but it'll be a dome that goes up with the blocks, right? And then the, there'll be different floors that kind of stagger on their way up this. So the next floor up from this, I want it, whoa, did I just? You can stand on the inset lights? What? That's pretty neat. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the dome there, our next floor up will be quite a few blocks above this. It'll probably be over here, uh, but then we can just like kind of pump the items into here. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do, uh, but this is going to be our area where we want to build our stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're started. Very cool. <laughs> so this is where the baked potatoes go. So all we're, what we really want to do is get a system that smelts the item. The, the So we're just going to have potatoes coming into this little chamber. Uh, so we're going to need, we're going to need some things. We're going to need some things. We're going to need a smelter. Okay, we're gonna get the the big boy here. Bam, should be able to make that no problem. Uses, bam, make that no problem. Uses, bam, make that with some problems. Recipe, bam. Yeah, make it with some problems. Bam, shabam, kading, a bing, a wa. Ooh, ooh, e. I don't know what happened to all my stuff ago. Okay, so we got our smelter here. We're also out of the ultimate processor thing, my bob, so we'll have to worry about that later. Uh, but the ultimate smelter is good to go. We'll put the potatoes into there. We're also going to bring a drawer to emulate the items that are going to be coming in. So we can go ahead and put our potatoes in there. All right, we're going to go ahead. That should be blocks perfect. Okay, so I actually believe that we can just go ahead and actually place the smelter here. Um, so let's see. Okay, so smelter here, elite crusher here, pipe, this is for fluids, items. Okay. So this will output, um, so energy will be, we'll be having the energy system coming up through the mid. 
Yes. Let's go under. Let's go ahead and get under there, so we can go ahead and clear a little bit of this out. This is where our fission reactor will also, fission and fusion reactors will go. Okay. We're just going to kind of clear a line over here to where our energy source is. And I believe I broke that energy source on accident. I sure did. Okay. Okay, this should be configured perfect. All right, so we're going to run power, we're going to run power cables in each direction. It's going to be a very clean setup. Uh, so this will run all the way to the the back there. Eventually, this will look a lot better. Trust me. Just we're, we're not we're not going for real pretty right now. Uh, then we're gonna come here into the mid and then come straight up. This is our power. Perfect. Okay, we don't need that one. All right, now all we need to do is just connect these bad boys up. So we should be able to go here and here. Now these guys have power. Uh, probably don't even need that one. So we're going to be, the input will be here. That's the input for everything. You can emulate this by doing that. Actually, we're not gonna put this here. We're gonna put this directly on top. Okay, potatoes go in there. And get put in, perfect. Sorting on, and then they get pushed over here, input. Okay, energy is on bottom, perfect. Okay, so there we go, we're up to the biofuel here, which is exactly what we wanted. We should see more items come in, yes. Sorting is on. Okay, so we got up over to there. Now the potato, the baked potatoes go into here, right? No. The biofuel goes into here. I don't have any biofuel. Let's go ahead and grab some. I totally forgot to get it. Okay, we'll grab this biofuel here. Okay, so biofuel is here. We also need this electrolytic separator and this guy. So both of these feed on this. This just needs hydrogen and water. Biofuel goes into here. We make the substrate perfect. Okay, let's get these in our new system. Okay, so back over here. <clears throat> <clears throat> so the biofuel goes into the pressure reaction chamber. Yep, as you can see, that is working great. Uh, we're just gonna throw... Uh, I think we should throw the electrolytic separator over here. This might actually be too compact, so we might actually have to make some adjustments. Space it out a little bit, yep. So here's for fluids. All right, this supplied with power. Dumping access, we don't need the oxygen. Hydrogen is good to go. Okay, did I bring any? Yes, I did, perfect. Okay, gases on the front output, one. Yes, perfect, so there we go. Now we also need a spot to put the water in. Okay, so this has water. We're getting the substrate. Okay, everything to the substrate is good to go. Look at that, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, ethylene. How do we make the ethylene again? Liquid ethylene, ethylene. Okay, so that's a byproduct of this. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this guy. Okay. Let's get over to the new base. <clears throat> okay, that 
lets you... Did I not pick up that machine? Okay. I'm going to get some more of the, the gases. We're going to upgrade all of them to the, the max tier. What are you used for? Fluids. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. All right, we got the fluids. And we got the gases and we got the items. Yes, should be all we need for this system. Okay, we're going to use some dirt to go ahead, place here, like so. Okay, so this thing takes liquid ethylene, which comes from this guy. All right, that's the ethylene. We need to pump, what the heck? Okay, we're also gonna lower this by one, put him here. Okay, and then the ethylene. Let's see, liquid ethylene, right. Fluids output on the left. Fluids go there. Yep, that's being pumped in. Perfect. This is making more. The ethylene. I believe this is a gas. Sure is. Perfect. All righty, so there we go. That's looking good. And then, how, I might not have thought this all the way through. How are we supposed to get the items out of this guy? This is where the biofuel comes, where it needs to go here. Put biofuel here, we put that there. Oh no, this needs to go into the substrate thing. Okay, so we're in the home stretch now. I've got everything automated up here to the HDPE sheets. Uh, yeah, so all we need to do is just do one of these and then break that off. And then we should be able to just set it to export out the sides. And we'll sort this out. Actually, no, we can't. Hmm. Actually, sorting wouldn't be a bad idea. So the way these work is we only... Um, we get the HDPE pellets and you put them in an enriching factory. And instead of having them be 8 to 1 like this, if you put them in here, it's 3 to 1. Uh, but you do need a total of 3. So if there's only 1 in each of these, it has to wait for each of these to be filled back up. But... Uh, yeah, guys, that is, uh, that's the system. It's all contained in a three by three area. So we can go ahead and put uh, glass panes on the side here to make it look real good. Uh, but it's all self-contained. So all we need to do is just pump this into a drawer and, uh, or, uh, actually we're going to use, yeah, we're going to use mechanism to hold its own items. I don't want to use storage drawers because the mechanism item will be better. So we're going to use a bin here. I'll go ahead and craft one of these up. Uh, that's It's these guys here. Those are the bins. So these are rather expensive. Oof, we need to make more of those. 
Okay, shebang, and then we should be able to craft this one, no problem. Oh, we didn't make the top thing. Oh, yeah, each of these is gonna be upgraded to the max tier. Let's get our HDPE sheets. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that and do that. Let's go over to our base. All right, so we will be storing these guys here like this and then items here bam like so and then we will be outputting out the bottom there we go it is automated and i actually really like the look of this now this this back area is kind of bland so we might end up just putting a block here to go ahead and block it off and just having glass on the fronts of these um, so we'll go ahead and see if we like that. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I find a block because I really do like this industrial look like a, like probably more than I should But uh, let's go ahead and fill this in. We're gonna see how it looks With the cyan terracotta if we can get it So it just look like there's this pipe that comes up and That we uh, we did some shenanigans, so we need to place it on this side as well BAM all contained. That is so stinking cool, guys. Oh my gosh. So that's our input there. We'll go ahead and just top this off. Uh, we're gonna put a little top on this. Um, but I would really like it if we could get that to work as the middle point, but we'll probably won't. Um, that's okay but with me. But yeah, guys, look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and fill these sides in. I think, I think we're gonna use these guys. Uh, can we turn this into a half slab? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, okay, so I do have a feeling we're gonna end up swapping out this dark here for the, the concrete, or not the concrete, but the marble. Uh, but we can't actually turn that into it. So let's go ahead and mine this tree over here real quick. Okay. I'm starting to really like this a lot. But I do want to I do want to see if I can go ahead and reconfigure that top area to work for the middle top input. That way it doesn't look so weird. Uh, but we're just going to throw this here right now. And let's see here. Can we place this vertically? Oh, we can. We sure as heck can. Okay, so we need to place blocks everywhere there isn't a pipe already. We will go ahead and vein mine this, the, the dirt here, so it will work for us in the end. Where does this pipe go? Okay, we're losing, we're not getting this guy. We're not getting any ethylene. Where's the ethylene coming from again? Ethylene comes from this guy. Um, okay, so we're not done yet. We, we still have some things to fix. Let's go ahead and turn vein mining on. Okay. This is why I like vein miner. Okay, so, shoot. It's getting power from the back. Go ahead and break this cable. Okay, so that's where this cable will get its stuff from, the ethylene. Yep, our ethylene's already coming out of there. Uh, but now we're lacking power to the front here. Um, actually, we're just lacking power to this guy. Is there another way to get this guy some power? Mm, no, not really. This is what I love about this. It's actually like really challenging and fun. What does this do? Oh, that's power. Hmm. So if we 
Because this gets power from below. We don't need power above. Okay. And what if we just ran this cable to the top instead of the back? We do need to go ahead and break this. Disabled, just like so. Let's go ahead and switch this over to our wrench. Pop, pop. Is that still set to input in the top? It sure is. Look at that. Now, we've got something. Okay, yeah, so we can go ahead, move this here. Not gonna break it with you. Grab you. Boom, okay, now we got power to it. Perfect. Yep, this is making the ethylene there. See, once it gets the three pellets, it goes ahead and makes some, which is perfect. We will go ahead and throw a bunch of uh, energy efficiency upgrades in all these machines. But I just want to make sure before we seal everything up that it is good to go. Okay, so we're getting power. This doesn't need to worry about it. Power, everything it needs. Yep, that is pumping ethylene into there. This is getting ethylene from processing this. Okay, we definitely need some upgrades on this guy. That's the whole... Okay, we might need to actually have this set up so it puts the substrate in a different area. Uh, so we can easily put it to a, a bin there. Let's go ahead and just make like a little small bin to go ahead and allow us to keep making the ethylene. So this is the problem solving stuff that I just I love so much about modded. Um, yes, so we need to grab you and you. Oh. Actually, no, we don't want this here. We want to go with this guy. Okay, so been here. We're just going to go maybe... Red tier, blue tier. Yeah, we're just gonna stick it blue tier. This holds 32,000 items. That should be okay. Famous last words. Okay, so because, yes. We can just literally throw this guy right here. Yep, and it goes into there. <gasps> it was still on wrench. Oh, I'm holding a machine in my hand. That's what broke. Uh, but I don't remember which configuration it was placed in. This one, maybe? Yeah, that seems to be working perfect. Okay. Whew. Had me worried for a second. I was like, I broke it. So this will allow us to continue to make the ethylene until this guy fills up, honestly. Uh, but I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. If we check here, you can see, yep, we are producing... The substrate and the ethylene for this machine. Yep. And then that's being put over here with the oxygen. Where are we getting our oxygen from for this guy? Um, we're not getting that really anywhere. Is there an open slot for you? Um, might need to move this guy back a block. Hmm, yeah, oxygen is not getting to it. But we can, we have the space to move him back. Um, can we move you back a block? Yep, we sure can move this guy back a block too. Let's move these two back. That doesn't really change a whole lot other than this air issue. Uh, but then if it's coming out of here, we might be able to force push it over there maybe. See if we shift click, nothing. 
Okay, so then we might have to move this up so it automatically puts it in there and then we can throw it in. So then that issue would be fixed. How would we get the ethylene over there? Okay, so this is the issue we're running into is the oxygen getting to this guy. Okay. What are you? Oh, you're the ethylene going here. Okay, so the ethylene goes here. And okay, so we don't want it actually connected to this guy. Is there another way we can move that? Different spot. Hmm, need to do some more designing. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I think I actually did it. Everything still got power. I went ahead and moved this one block back, and it turns out you can actually use in the input output thing going over here. Uh, if we look, we're still pulling items out of here. Um, still pulling the substrate out of here. It's going into this over here. And once it gets pulled out, it's actually pushing it here, which then in fact goes here. If we watch this, it goes up as you can see and then gets dispersed. So it's actually working. Uh, I do believe all we have to do now is put potatoes in and everything is automated. Cause this here is making some hydrogen. It's gonna fill up, or, uh, that hydrogen oxygen for us. You can see it's going up. This will eventually just kind of stop working. Um, but yeah, we're using that sink there. I didn't actually need to bring in a new sink, which I was very happy about. It's not as pretty, but it still looks really like, really cool, honestly. And then this is just going along. So the faster we go ahead and make this guy uh, and this guy, um, we'll, like obviously we'll, we'll put energy upgrades in all of these first and then we'll do the speed upgrades. So that way we're not pulling too much power. But uh, HDPE sheets, guys, have been automated. All we need to do is just get some uh, some potatoes growing up here, getting cooked up, getting put over, because we get seven biodiesel per potato at this point now. It's melting and stuff like that. Uh, this piping here is pretty much uh, useless. Wait, is it? Uh, I guess not really useless. So we'll just leave that there because that is giving those guys some power. We need that. But everything, are you? Yep, you're getting power from the front here. You're good to go. That's the bin. You're getting power on your items. You're getting everything you need. You're just a bin. Uh, we are out of biofuel. That's the item transporter that you're getting the items from. So yeah, we just throw some biofuel in here, guys, and it gets freaking made up. So that's our backlog of substrate for our system here. Uh, liquid ethylene is still doing good. Uh, that is going to take a hindering because we are out of that. So we will need to get some potatoes in here really soon, but now we can go ahead and actually do what I wanted to do a little bit ago. And that was fill everything in here like this. So we can go ahead and close it off. I think I'll go ahead and hide some lighting back here with the uh, the lights that we have, the inset lights. So that everyone seems to be a big fan of those. <laughs> I've noticed that a lot of you guys are like, hey, what are, what, what are you using? And I'm like, oh, it's this. And you guys are like, oh, that's amazing. So yeah, let's see if we can place this block right. Oop, missed that one. I could switch it over to hover, but I don't think I will. <gasps> That's right. Okay, I'll just do dirt then. Ooh, man, how are we going to place this one? Okay, what if we take our configuration tool and go to rotate? Does that work on you? Hmm. Is it worth it? I don't know. I think it is. Keeps everything. We didn't really break anything. It's still going to work properly. But now that side's done. Do have a few machines here that we might need to do that too.
Okay, this one doesn't really matter. Actually, it, it, like each of these matters, but it doesn't really matter if I break it for a couple seconds. Okay, and then we can actually have the bin facing forward, so we will be able to see that. Perfect, that's looking real good. Yep, I don't know why I did this. These blocks don't really need to be done. Okay, and then there's this guy. Okay, we need to craft up some more of the slabs. Holy heck, this has taken a lot longer than I originally anticipated. Okay, you're just a smelty boy. Let's go ahead and swap you out real quick. Place you. And break that. Okay, so that's all working again. Perfect. And this one just appears to be cable. All right, let's go ahead and switch vein mining on. Got to be real careful I don't hit a cable. Okay, was that all of them? I think so. Okay. Perfect. Well, check that out, ladies and gentle frogs. That is our HDPE sheets completely automated. All we have to do is just throw some potatoes in here, and we create HDPE sheets. How's that for uh, some production? Potatoes to HP HDPE sheets. Isn't that pretty neat? Uh, but uh, sorry, guys, it's not really going to be a base uh, building episode. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it pretty much uh, and kind of redo the intro. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a, a great day. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Prepare for a lot more of these kind of episodes when we're moving our mechanism stuff over here because I do want to continue to have something like this. I think this one turned out really good, uh, so we're going to continue to do it. And also, I did get these night vision goggles, which kind of seem to work, kind of don't. But uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.